Hello, I'm OBX Toycat, and welcome back to another feature preview. Feature previews are a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you features that are going to be included within the next big update for Minecraft, Xbox, and Minecraft PlayStation. We don't know whether that next big update is going to be called Teleupdate 25, 26, or 27, but what we do know is it's at least including features from 1.7 on the PC, as well as a couple of ones that they have announced so far from other updates, and that is, you know, kind of interesting to us because using that, I can show you these features using the PC gameplay, and in particular today, rather than just showing you one feature, I'm going to be showing you my favorite features features in general. I've shown these features in other videos before, but I'm just going to do one video showing off all the features I think are some of the coolest and most exciting coming in this next big update, because, you know, some of them big, some of them small, I, I just figured it'd be a fun one to do. So these are the best, or perhaps my favourite, features coming in the next update. Please do like the video if you do like it, it helps out the channel a lot, and it lets me know you do like it, and let's get straight into this one, shall we? And let's start with the biome in, I'm in right now, because this is my favourite biome in the game as of the next update, or potentially, you know, it, it's potentially joint first the mace biome, but this is one of the best biomes in the game and the reason for that is so many that I kind of have to just go into it and explain it because so many people are always asking why is it your favorite biome because if you look at savannah biome which is the one I'm in right now you might not see something too amazing because it's just like loads of weird looking trees and a slightly you know weird like yeah, this this grass doesn't look particularly great by itself however the reason I like this so much is because it is a combination of two really great biomes so the two great biomes I mean are the plains biome and the desert biome. So it has all the benefits of the plains biome in that like horses can spawn here, like other animals can spawn here. You're seeing rabbits after the next update, but um, you know, lots of stuff can spawn here. But you know, besides that alone, it also has the benefit of a desert where it can be reasonably flat. This is a pretty hilly part of it, but you know, if it wasn't this part of the desert, it would be a reasonably flat place. And besides that, you know, just that little bit alone, it's also got the benefit of the fact that it has this brand new tree in it, which is the acacia tree, which by the way, I can totally pronounce now. So yeah, the acacia tree is really really cool and I got an achievement again this uh, that seems to happen every time I open up well but yeah uh, basically the acacia wood you'll see me chop some down here is this weird kind of gray is, is this gray like this gray brown type wood and uh, it might not look too interesting on the outside but when you turn it into planks you get this really interesting orange plank and this is gonna be a really cool building tool because you know it's just so much brighter and cooler than any other color we have so far I think it just you know really varies up the game and I think it's very cool so the wood is cool the biome itself is really cool because you know it's the plains biome benefits of all the no rain if the desert biome and finally it can also spawn in villages so these are the best biome to look out for because although you know they're not quite as wacky as a mesa biome they do have like amazing benefits and you're going to want to settle down in one of these i think this is going to be the new go-to biome for like oh i need to have a house in a nice place uh this yeah there's some sor seriously solid real estate in the savannah biome so that is why the savannah biome is one of my favorite or best features coming in the next update let's move on to the next one which is going to be a a much, much simpler one, because it just involves creepers and uh, flint steel. So this is one I put in my smaller features video, because it is a very small feature, but it is a pretty cool one for creative, because previously, if you wanted to test your creative builds for, you know, creepers, so, uh, you know, let, you know, you, you want to block creeps, uh, creeps in creative, you just can't do it. You punch them, they just, you know, they go away, it's impossible to do. However, with this, let's see if we can actually do this right, so let's get a creeper over there. Uh, with this in the game, if... Uh, if you light a creeper on fire and you actually get the flint still on it properly, <laughs> it will actually blow up the creeper and it's really, really cool. It's 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 a nice little addition to creative mode in particular because it means you can blow up creepers in creative to test your structures, see how creep proof they are. And you can also just do it in general, you know, for survival because you want to blow up a creeper. So you light it and then you run away as fast as you can and you guarantee it blows up. Because right now, if you you know run away from a creeper, he might stop exploding and you might have stuff to deal with him. And since the best way to deal with a creeper is to let him explode if you don't mind him exploding stuff, I think it's a pretty cool, you know, it's it's got some use in survival but mainly it's a nice little creative bonus so yeah let's move on to the next feature and this is one i'm really looking forward to this was one of the first ones i mentioned and that is actually custom nether portals. So, uh, custom nether portals, a really cool change coming in the next update, at least so far, you know, 1.7 feature, because basically, uh, you know, it, it it stops the limit on nether portal sizes, because right now, you have to have, I believe it's, uh, you know, two by three, so, you know, two along the bottom, then three up like this. This is the size of a nether portal, obviously it has to be a proper square, uh, you know, it's just kind of a boring, you have to do that every single time. This next update just makes this the minimum, not the, you know, the only size, and that's really cool, because it means you can do a few interesting things. So the first one is you can make massively square portals. These go up to 23 by 23. This is only 15 by 15 to show how big you can get without even being anywhere near the max. Like, it's just insane to look at. Like, 
It means you can have multiple layers all going into the same portal. I think it's a pretty cool feature by itself, but that also means you can make some ridiculous dimensions of uh, portals, such as this. I think this is 2x20. You can have a portal that's 2x20 tall if you want to. I mean, there's there's no amazingly compelling reason, but if you want to, you can be like, okay, so I'm going to make a portal there, then jump in, and yeah, you can actually end up in the portal just over here. So that's something you can totally do if you want to. They do function just like regular portals, by the way, and... Um, that's interesting enough. But yeah, it's something you can totally do if you want to. And uh, yeah, on this side, you get the exact same portal. But otherwise, very, very cool thing. I'm going to get out the Never. I'm very much looking forward to custom Nev portal sizes. Because it means, if you want to, you can make a Nev portal cube. So it's like one of these square faces on each side. And I think that's going to be a cool enough build by itself. Uh, let alone all the actual like practical building possibilities. You know, if you want to farm, it might be a little bit easier now. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with this and doing some cool stuff. So yeah, let's move on to the next feature, which will involve me leaving the game. So... This next feature was the very first ever feature announced for this update, and it should have been one we have in the current update, but for some reason we don't, and that is something involving custom super flats. So I'll go on creative just to show you it. Uh, basically, on the console right now, we only have the world type of default and super flat. Uh, after this update, we will potentially have Amphlight. We haven't had that confirmed, uh, but we're also uh, potentially getting custom... Uh, sorry, we are definitely, this is confirmed, getting customized super flats. So uh, basically, you know, customized super flat means that instead of just having the, you know, uh, you know the, the one you saw just there, where it's, oh, bedrock dirt grass that's the soup flat we all know and love or maybe not love but it's super flat we all know instead of just having that which is you know kind of what it is uh, what you can do instead is you can have all these separate presets so on the console these presets are confirmed and there's a okay so uh, for instance redstone readies uh, just lowers a sandstone all the place so you can see a redstone snowy kingdoms kind of just super flat but with more layers of dirt and snow all over everything tunnel stream is just so much stone and uh, an extreme hill behind there's lots of cool, you know, little uh, things you can do right here if you want to have super flat worlds, but you don't want to have just grass. Because right now, you're limited to just grass your super flat world. And it means if you're playing super flat survival, which is admittedly a, a reasonably fun game mode, there's some limited possibilities. And even if you're playing in creative, if you want to make something in a snow biome, you have to make your own one. This is kind of a fix for that. So uh, let's just all show you what you can do at, at the top here. This is something that obviously won't work like this in console because no one wants to type this out. But there might be the option like a GUI to do a similar sort of thing like this. Because here's, here's one I made earlier that I think I'm calling Tunnel uh the opposite of dream uh you know tunnelers torture that's a that's some good alliteration uh and yeah this is someone i made right here which is ma made to torture tunnel uh, you know like miners basically because there is a tunnelers paradise i figured let's make the opposite of that just to show you you know hope hopefully this does inspire you in some way and makes you go oh you can do some really really silly stuff so uh the the just behind this one is tunnelers uh, paradise is where it's just so much stone all the structures below ground all that sort of stuff this is uh, Tunnelers Nightmare. So, or Tun oh, sorry, Tunnelers Torture, or Torture of the Tunnelers. Uh, I, I'm, you know, what name's still in work? But basically, as soon as this actually works, because obviously it's going to take some time, uh, I made it so it's as you know, kind of punishing as possible for miners. And the uh, the first uh, step behind that is making it so all the stone in the map has been replaced by melon blocks. And at some point, do I just conclude the game has crashed? I mean, it's oh, there we go. No, it actually, here. So, um, yeah. Oh, actually, I, I think. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, okay, so you can see um, I actually replaced all of the stone blocks and melon blocks, and I also made it so there's just only strongholds below the ground, like, strongholds, strongholds everywhere below the ground if you wanting to look for them, so basically it means there's no stone in the game besides if you find yourself a stronghold, of which there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, at the top it you can get yourself some nice, uh, you know, wood here, and you can get all that sort of stuff, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of just behind this thing. I think it'd be a fun little, uh, you know, fun little uh, thing to replace all the stone with melons, uh, it is kind of ridiculous, but... The, the upside is you'll never starve on this world. <laughs> and yeah, you can do... Th this is just, you know, kind of a thing to inspire you. You can do so many cool things with this customized super flat. You can make, you know, you can replace any block with any other block. And you can make super flats that are perfectly tailored to your needs. And that's why I think it's one of the cooler features coming in the next update. Because it's not just one of these features where it's like, ah, you can you can do this limited one thing. It's, it's one of those things where it unlocks creativity in the game. You can have a layer of chess at the top here. You can have a layer of cake. You can... You, yeah, just infinite cake. You can... You you can do so many cool things, and that's why this is cool. So, those were my favorite features coming in the next update so far. Uh, of course, if we get more announced, that'll be exciting. But so far, uh, from what we have, this, these are my favorites. So, please do like the video if you do like it. Helps out the channel a lot, and lets me know you do like it. Share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I do uh, Minecraft console videos every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them on your homepage. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.